should be like half of you, I think. Uh, last semester, we did a presentation on the top 10 gayest animals, I believe. And one of those was the leaping lesbian lizard. Um, all of you were very curious, all of you at that meeting were very curious on how this like works. So here's how it works. Okay, so quick refresher on just, I guess, how, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you have that little ball bouncing by on the lyrics. Wait, no, you gotta use the um, pointer. So in human biology, um, traditional human biology, I should say, uh, it involves a male, which is the XY chromosomes, fertilizing a female, which is XX, giving the offspring an equal chance of being male or female with whatever mixed traits from the parents it has. Um, it requires a, a sperm and an egg. Um, it allows for genetic recombination through the pairing of homologous chromosomes and division of, I want to say sister chromatids, if I remember? We, the genetics unit in my AP bio was like a, a few months ago. Um, and it introduces traits from both the mother and the father. <coughs> and before we have questions about this, um, I think early in the year I mentioned that it was possible for a female, like in, huma in humans, uh, for a lesbian couple to have a child through fertilization from chromosomes found in the bone marrow. Um, I was a bit ahead of the time, and while experimentation with that is being done, it's nothing as concrete has been discovered yet. Uh, but so far, we do have success in mice, and everything tested on humans is first test tested in mice, um, where they take uh, stem cells from the mice, I guess probably in the bone marrow because that's just where stuff is, um, and we're able to cre like trigger in the stem cell both the development of an embryo and of a sperm, and then have it be fertilized and then live on. So in mice created from two fathers, uh, the mice only lived, well the offspring only lived for like a few days, but in mice created from two mothers, they lived full lives and then reproduced uh, on their own. And then this is, this is one of the, um, mice with two mothers and her offspring. Am I called this piece the abandonment? The what? Hmm? <laughs> Shh. Nothing. Okay. So, now that you know that, prepare for the leaping lesbian lizard, also known as the New Mexico whiptail lizard for anyone who's doing their own research. Wait. For anybody who cares. Sorry. You had one job. <laughs> you can't have <laughs> Okay. You have one plot. As far as you're aware, Maybe I will asexually reproduce as well. Maybe. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a reptile? Um, <laughs> you know, it goes like a tumor inside know. and like splits off and moving out a little baby. For a while I just have to walk around like this because it's just tearing me. Um, so <laughs> the whip, the New Mexico whiptail is an all-female lizard species lovingly known as the leaping lesbian lizard. Um, it's native to the southwest U.S., which is New Mexico and Arizona, and northern Mexico and Chihuahua. Uh, they're slender, generally brown or black, with yellow stripes uh, running parallel to their body, and they have white or pale blue underbellies. Uh, and then just some stuff to know so I don't have to explain it like in the moment. Parthenogenesis is a form of asexual reproduction in which the embryo just goes and develops without being fertilized. So again, going back to human biology, normally um, a male and a female would have to Think, copulate um, and fertilize the embryo, but in this species it just happens. Um, and then heterozygosity, which is the possession of two different alleles, and is what is important in maintaining like the diversity of a species, so that they're not like exact clones. So, how it works. Uh, the New Mexico whiptail came into existence due to interspecies breeding uh, between two different species of whiptail. Uh, when this happens in just really any other species, uh, it, the offspring can live, but they are infertile. But in this case, the, Me the New Mexico whiptail just said, whatever, and continue to reproduce anyway. Um, so when a, I guess mother, obviously, um, is ready to reproduce um, and is developing the embryo, she will produce twice the number of chromosomes that she would normally have instead of how it works in humans, which is just having a set number and then having that divide. Um, yeah, so sexually reproducing, for example, would start with two chromosomes, and then at the end of meiosis, each gamete would have one, uh, whereas in the whip tail, they would, although they have two, they would suddenly jump up to four, and then at the end of the meios, at, and at the end of meiosis, they would have two. 
Uh, I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, so the doubling of chromosomes in the dividing cells uh, allows for heterozygosity, um, or genetic vari variation, to be maintained. Rather than being an exact clone of the mother, um, the genes can be shuffled up and a, a unique child can be born. born. Um, so in sexually reproducing uh, creatures, it happens like this, where these homologous chromosomes, which means chromosomes that code for the same traits, are paired together, and between them, through crossing over, they exchange a certain amount of genetic information. But how it's working in the whip tail uh, is a single chromosome is there, and then the sister chromatids, which is each of these little boys, uh, crosses over and exchanges just between itself. Beautiful. So this method for preserving diversity means that the leaving lesbian lizard doesn't face the same struggles as other asexually reproducing creatures. So in traditional cloning and just asexual reproduction overall, which you see in a lot of microbial species, uh, the main issue that they face is that there's really no evolution or like genetic variation taking place, which means any disease that affected the parents is going to affect those offspring, the offspring's offspring, and so on. Uh, but in the whip tail, because they're able to shuffle everything up, it allows for uh, a kind of evolution and a kind of adapt adaptability to be, well, to happen and to be passed on to the children. Um, yes, and then it is a bit slower because in sexually re reproducing organisms, you have technically two organisms who are growing, adapting, building up immunities, and they put both of their combined efforts towards one child, whereas in this case, it is the single mother building up her immunities and her adapt adaptations and then shuffling them up into a child. And then here's a bunch of pictures of the lizards. I don't remember if there's a slide after this. There is! Extra sprinkle of gay. I remember what this is now. So. Despite, being, despite reproducing solely asexually and having no need for any mating rituals, they go through it anyway. Um, and how this presents... What are you shaking your head for? Emma's jealous of these lizards. Um, <laughs> oh, God. Um, and this behavior is what earned them the title of lesbian lizards. Uh, primarily because they mount each other just when they're in the mood. Um, this yes. pseudo-reproduction has a way to kind of help them out, so it is advantageous even though not being required, because uh, lizards shown, lizards who participate in uh, the pseudo-copulation, it's just fake sex basically, um, are seen to produce more eggs and be more fertile overall than those who just go at it alone. And that should be the end. Spread the word. Leaping lesbian lizards. Does so anyone have any questions? Because this was just a whole lot of information. Yes. Why? Why what? <laughs> <laughs> I am also wondering that. <laughs> Why what? Why? Emma, Emma, I have questions. Yeah, what? What? Oh, look then. Close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Emma said hooray for Darwinism. I love you. Yeah. Close your eyes. <laughs> There's a button. Who does our take flight? You're controlling my mouse. I'm not controlling anything. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think that's you happening, literally guys? You're literally controlling the mouse. I, nothing's happening on yes, my yes, end. Yes, the mouse is moving. You're watching it, but doesn't anything it moves. Stop moving. It's moving on that screen. Yes. yes. Stop. Stop. Drop the <laughs> Or Or drop it, Oh, damn. No. Hey. No. <laughs> Oh, bad boy. Um, or why don't you want? You. <laughs> Anyways, I hope y'all liked it. We have 15 minutes left in here, so have a good time. <laughs>